What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. We are talking about Advanced Settings 8. And you probably already see one of the effects being applied by Advanced Settings 8. The wallpaper parallax effect is going crazy right now because I've adjusted that setting in Advanced Settings 8. This reveals all of Apple's hidden settings in the Settings app. I'm going to show you how to get to this right now. First of all, though, once you install Advanced Settings 8, you're going to notice a new preference panel in the Stock Settings app. Here it is for Advanced Settings 8. But interestingly enough, you're going to notice that there's only one setting there, and that is just a switch to disable or enable the tweak. To actually access the settings for Advanced Settings, you need to tap and hold on the Stock Settings app like this. This brings up the Advanced Settings 8 panel. And from here, you can adjust all sorts of ridiculous stuff like Parallax effect, adjust folders, icon animations, control center, lock screen, app switcher, carplay, lock screen test plugins, screen fade animations, alert items, notification center, legibility, wallpapers, icon adaptive colors, home button, lock screen, slide up apps, reachability, so many different things you can adjust courtesy of advanced settings eight. So we're just going to look at a couple of these, but just let it be known that it's a, a ridiculous amount of in-depth verbose settings that most people probably aren't going to find much benefit in. I mean, there's obviously a lot of stuff here that you can do, but uh, th it's so in depth that I don't think the average person is really going to be able to discern how to use this. Uh, for instance, let's go into parallax. You see four different sections here, home screen, wallpaper, lock screen, wallpaper, icon list, icon badges. Let's go into home screen, wallpaper, and you could see what I mean by all the different numbers and the different values and the different uh, definitions of, of different features like perspective and tilt and horizontal direction and directional lock effects. And it just, it's just ridiculous how in-depth it is. But what I did is I went in and just started adding numbers and uh, just, you know, adding on to the, the numbers that were there and using the sliders and just really, really changing it up. Um, and seeing what happens and what you saw earlier was what happened uh, with my um, with the parallax effect there you can see how crazy it looks um, right now and no resprings are required which is really awesome now let me show you something else this this you may find a little more uh, practical with folders let's go out to the folders here and allow nested folders you see that and then you have pinch to close. So I'm going to tap done here. And now I can go in and create a nested folder. Actually, I already have one there. But I'm going to do another one like that. Uh, so I have a nested folder, folder within a folder. Now, the thing about this is that you can't actually uh, nest folders from the home screen. So for instance, if I have two folders on the home screen, I can't actually put a folder within a folder like that. You actually have to nest it from within the folder itself. So uh, just something to keep in mind there uh, when it comes to that. Uh, and actually, when you nest a folder, you don't actually see it on the uh, home screen. It's kind of blank, and then you tap it, and then you see, whoa, there's a couple of folders there. They're nested. Uh, but of course, you can always drag the app icons out of that folder or uh, you know, all the way back to the home screen if you want to do that even. Uh, so just kind of have to play around with it to kind of get an idea of how it works and, and what types of settings it allows and what types of impacts uh, the different values have on the iPhone experience. All right, so we're going to go back in here. Let me show you one last thing. How about, how about the app switcher? Uh, so you can do some really cool things with the app switcher. Uh, simplicity. So you can change up the simplicity settings of the app switcher. Notice how the app switcher looks um, right now by default see that so you have your icons at the bottom your labels um, etc but now let's go into the app switcher and change up the simplicity I'm going to change um, let's see, make it no snapshots and bars and icons or anything and now it's really going to look rudimentary see that you just have black uh, for the 
for the app cards because I turned off the snapshots completely. Uh, so it's things like that that you can do with this tweak. Advanced settings eight. You can find it over on Cydia's Big Boss Repo, absolutely free. So there's really nothing to lose by trying this. Uh, tap and hold on the settings app icon to bring up Apple's advanced settings. And of course, you can enable or disable the tweak directly from the preferences in the stock settings app as well. So folks, let me know what you guys think about advanced settings eight down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.